Mr. President, I uh, thank the Majority Leader for um, trying to work with us in a, in a fashion that would allow us to get to some votes on amendments. We have several amendments pending, uh, one of which is the uh, amendment that I've offered, Amendment Number 1197. Uh, I spoke to this subject a little bit uh, the other evening as we commenced a debate on the immigration bill. But I'd like to, if I might, just uh, elaborate a little bit further on uh, why I think this amendment is important, why I think it strengthens and improves the underlying bill. And I said uh, the, the other evening, Mr. President, that uh, I'm very uh, convinced, as I think we all are, that we need an immigration system that works. The immigration system that we have today is broken uh, and it must be fixed. And fortunately, each time that Congress has tried to fix our immigration system, promises of a more secure border are never upheld. The bill in front of us today is well intended, but it's following the same path as past immigration bills. Under this bill, it is certain that 12 million undocumented workers will receive legal status soon after the bill is enacted. However, the border security provisions of this bill are nothing more than promises, which again may never be upheld. And I've said this before, but uh, when I talk to constituents back in my state of South Dakota, Mr. President, there are a couple of questions that they ask. The first question is, when will our federal government keep its promises on border security? They also ask a second question, that is, why do we need more laws when we're not enforcing the laws that are currently on the books? Mr. President, it's time that we follow through on promises of a more secure border. The Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act of 1996 required 700 miles of reinforced, double-layered fencing along the southern border. That goal was reaffirmed when Congress passed the Secure Fence Act back in 2006. To date, less than 40 miles, 36 to be exact, out of the 700 miles of fencing required by law has been completed. Now, my amendment 1197 simply requires that when we implement current law prior to legalization, that is an indication that we're serious about border security. So, as specified by this amendment, 350 miles of the fencing would be required prior to RPI status being granted. The completion of this section of the fence would be a tangible demonstration that we are serious about border security. After RPI status is granted, the remaining 350 miles required by current law would have to be constructed during the 10-year period before registered provisional immigrants can apply for green cards. Now, Mr. President, there are still many problems uh, with this bill that need to be addressed, and I think that's what the amendment process is all about. But I would say to my colleagues here in the United States Senate that if we want to show that we are serious about border security, and not just talking about it, but actually making real changes to make our border more secure, then this amendment is one way to show that we are serious. And Mr. President, there's been a lot of discussion about the various costs associated with, uh, with building a fence. Um, if you look at the different estimates about uh, border fence costs, there are quotes from private contractors suggesting the cost of constructing a double-layered fence is around $3.2 million per mile. So if you're putting that into terms of a 700-mile fence, you're looking at about $2.2 billion. And remember, uh, it would cost a lot less than that if you reach the 350-mile mark, which is what my amendment calls for prior to RPI status. But it is a reasonable cost, and there are uh, dollars allocated in the legislation that are designed to strengthen border security. And I would simply suggest to my colleagues that one of the best, simplest, plainest, most straightforward ways of doing that is to build the fence, the fence that is required by law, that was required in the 1996 Act, in the 2006 Act, in which to date only 40 miles of that has been built. And so I think this makes a, a lot of sense, uh, Mr. President. I would suggest that it, um, as we talk about the various other elements of the immigration uh, debate and the legislation in front of us, that we start with this. If we start with this, I think we can convince the American people that we are serious. Uh, it's, it's difficult, I think, for Americans to trust Congress, trust the government to do the right thing on the border uh, when past promises haven't been fulfilled. And if you go back to the 1986 immigration reform legislation, there were promises made about border security that were never kept. 
and we allowed people to come in at that time. And since that time, here we are uh, many, many years later with the same set of circumstances in front of us today, uh, trying to figure out how to deal with the undocumented workers that are currently here, uh, but absent anything having happened that would ensure to the American people that the border security requirements uh, are being met. And so I want to encourage my colleagues here in the United States Senate to express our commitment to the American people that before RPI status is granted, that we are serious about in, in, in securing our border, ensuring that the uh, commitments that have been made with regard to building a fence there are fulfilled. And again, 350 miles of which would be constructed prior to RPI status. The other 350 miles of that 700-mile fence uh, would happen subsequent to a green card being issued and, uh, and moving into that next status uh, that's allowed for in this legislation. Uh, Mr. President, again, this is not something that is complicated. I think it is very, if you're an American citizen in this country, you ask a couple of very straightforward questions, and that is, why do we have to pass new laws if we're not going to enforce the laws that are already on the books? Well, the 700 miles of border fence is on the books. And in 1996, when it was first uh, called for, and then in 2006, subsequent to that, uh, it was again stipulated that a fencing requirement uh, be that be completed on the southern border. And interestingly enough, I would add, Mr. President, at that time, when that vote was held in 2006, then Senators Obama, Biden, and Clinton supported that bill, along with a lot of the current members, uh, authors of the legislation that's before us today. So it makes uh, perfect sense to the American people. I think it is a necessary uh, and um, I think an essential, actually, uh, requirement to be met uh, not only for us to move on to the other elements of the immigration debate, but more importantly, to really secure the border, which is what the American people want to see happen. Uh, Mr. President, I would uh, I call up and ask that the amendment, amendment number 1197, be made pending. The clerk will report the amendment. The senator from South, from South Dakota, Mr. Thune, proposes amendment number 1197. I will just make a couple of observations in response to the uh, Senator from Louisiana. And I understand that there isn't going to be any barrier that's going to be 100 percent effective. Um, but the type of double-layered fencing mandated by the law uh, would be, I think, a significant visible deterrent demonstrating that we are serious. And it would prevent some of the pedestrian traffic, not all, um, but of the, the, in the legislation of the fence that was required, we really don't know all that much about how effective it's been. I think it's been somewhat effective in states like Arizona, um, but we've only built 36 miles of it. And I would say, in response to my colleague from Louisiana, that we all voted for this. I mean, this is not, she described it as a dumb fence. She voted for the dumb fence. I voted for the dumb fence, I guess. I didn't realize it was a dumb fence. I thought it was a commitment that we made the American people to get serious about securing the border. Now, there are other ways, I would certainly uh, concede, other ways in which we can combine manpower, technology, infrastructure along the border to make it more secure. However, a, a border fence is Mr. a cost-effective component. And I, would, and I would say to my colleague from Louisiana, there are dollars in this bill. There's six and a half billion dollars for border security, some of which is dedicated, $1.5 billion is dedicated to fencing, infrastructure, and those sorts of things. And the cost that I mentioned in my, in my earlier remarks, if you look at it on a per mile, per mile basis to build the fence, $3.2 million per mile, uh, you would be looking at somewhere around a billion dollars, less than the amount that's al al allowed for and allocated in the bill for fencing and infrastructure and those sorts of things. But this is not a new issue. I mean, we, we have been here. Uh, you voted for the dumb fence. Uh, I think that many of us here in the Senate at the time, and I mentioned earlier, at that time, Senators Obama, Clinton, uh, Biden all voted for that fence. And I think we, have, uh, we made a commitment to the American people that we would get serious about doing this. We need to do it in the most cost-effective way, and there are many components of that. I fully understand that. But I also think that a fence is a very serious and important deterrent and a commitment that we made to the American people. So the amendment, again, is very straightforward. It just simply asks Congress, asks us to follow through on the commitment that we made in 1996 and 2006 and, and do more than 36 miles, which is what's been built so far out of a 700-mile commitment uh, that was made to the American people.